chord shapes you just saw me using are super easy to learn and they're also super useful because you can move them all around the neck of the guitar. There's only two chord shapes in this whole progression and they only take two fingers to play. So our first chord is going to be our B minor and we're going to put our second finger on the seventh fret of the low E. We're going to put our third finger on the seventh fret of the G. Now throughout this whole progression the D string is going to ring open but all the other strings are going to be muted except the low E, the D and the G. Our second chord is going to be a G and that is going to be our second finger on the third fret of the low E, our third finger on the fourth fret of the G string. Again, the D is ringing open, the A, the B and the E strings are muted. Our next chord is going to be our D chord. That is going to be the exact same shape as this G, just moved up to the 10th fret. So 10th fret with our second finger on the low E and then the 11th fret with our third finger on the G string. And our last chord is going to be our A chord and that is going to be the same shape as this D and this G but it's going to be on the 5th fret. So 2nd finger on the 5th fret on the low E and our 3rd finger on the 6th fret of the G string. Now a few good things about the shape are it allows the D string to ring open the entire time but also if we want to change between major and minor we only need to move one finger. So we've got our D major chord here. If we want to make it a D minor we just move our third finger back a fret so now both fingers are within the 10th fret on the same strings as they were. So this shape is really useful if you're wanting to get away from just playing your standard chords in D major down the bottom of the neck. So you can see here we've got a D, a C sharp, a B, an A, a G, an F sharp, an E, and then back to D. If you enjoyed this quick video give it a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.